and welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Amethyst and I'm a first time mom to a beautiful baby girl named Elena. Here on my channel, I create content that inspires moms to live a life of happiness and not perfection. I'm really passionate about creating a community for moms where we put ourselves first and we practice self-care in every day of our lives. So if you are interested in that type of content and you want to join my mom power family here on YouTube, all you have to do is hit that big red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss when I post new videos. So you guys, unless you have been living under a rock, then you already have heard of this viral trend that is viral literally across all social media. There is a plethora of YouTube videos. There's a bunch of TikTok videos. It's all over Instagram. And that is the trend or the idea of that girl or being that girl or becoming that girl. And you guys, the majority of the videos that I'm seeing across social media about this topic are the girls who wake up at 5 a.m. and the girls who drink a green smoothie and they're in the gym like two times a day for two hours a day and they have the luxury car and the luxury handbags and they have you know the aesthetically pleasing apartment and they have um the high rises and you know the glass windows from ceiling to floor and that type of thing and while that is like amazing and it can be really encouraging and it can be really inspiring it can also come across as really unrelatable because that is just not the reality for all of us especially those of us who are moms and really you guys all becoming that girl or being that girl means is being the best version of yourself or becoming the best version of yourself showing up as the best version of yourself whatever that looks like and it's going to be different from person to person because we are obviously all different people and so what i want you guys to think about when you're thinking about being that girl or who that girl is think about the times when you felt your happiest think about the times when you felt like the best version of yourself what were you doing in those moments what were you wearing you know what activity were you doing what music were you listening to that type of thing and find a way to incorporate that into every single day of your life and that's being that girl or becoming that girl so i thought it would be really fun since this is like a big thing right now across social media to make a video and just share with you guys my five ways that i am becoming that girl or being that girl so let's hop into it the first way that I am becoming that girl, especially as a mom, is routines. Y'all, I am not a person that thrives in chaos. I am a person that needs structure. I am a full-time working mom. I work a full-time job 40 hours a week from 7.30 to 4.30, and I have a child who goes to school three days a week. So I cannot just wake up and wing it. Like that is That will cause my entire day to be thrown off. And I'm really a person, I try to break down my routines into having a morning routine and a night routine just because I don't want to jam pack my mornings because again, I do not thrive in chaos. I need structure, I need order, I need something to hold me accountable and routines do that. And being that I start work at 7.30, in order to like jam pack my morning and do everything in the morning and have no night routine would require me to wake up extremely early and i'm pretty i'm an early bird but having to you know actually start work at 7 30 is early enough without having to jam pack 20 things so i would suggest having a morning routine and a night routine so for example some things that i do in the morning are like you know obviously brush my teeth my skincare routine um, I take my vitamins, I make my protein smoothie, I read my Bible, I pray. Like those are things that I do um, for my morning routine. And the nighttime routine, I try to go ahead and make my to-do list for the night before, brush my teeth again, make sure I take a shower, do my skincare routine again, like those type of things. But routines have saved me, especially as a mom that girl is by reading and educating myself you guys you can never have too much knowledge and honestly one of my favorite things to do since I have been a young girl is reading I'm that person who can sit down and read a book in like an hour a long book but um, becoming a mom especially a first-time mom I kind of lost that because I was so focused on being a first-time mom getting the hang of parenthood getting the hang of motherhood getting the hang of you know having a career and trying to also be a mom and make sure I'm giving my child that attention and nurturing that she needs to grow and develop so I kind of let reading fall to the wayside so this is something that I am incorporating back in my life again another way that I'm becoming that girl and it feels just really good 
to get lost in a book you kind of just like become the characters you become absorbed in the story and it's just a great escape from anything else going on in life from thinking about work you know um whatever like issues or anything that's stressing you out reading is a really good way to just kind of forget everything and become immersed in what you're reading and also just educating yourself as i said you can never have too much knowledge and there's so many different ways you guys for you to gain you know education it's not just about going back to school you can read you can listen to podcasts you can watch youtube videos like you're doing right now some of my favorite podcasts and that's actually another part of my morning routine is i make sure that i listen to a podcast every morning so that i'm kind of getting some of some knowledge and some positivity back in my life even before i try to hop on social media so some of my favorite podcasts are the black girl bravado the mindset mentor just to name a few and the mindset mentor he literally posts a podcast like monday through friday every Every single day I want to say at like 5 a.m. one of my favorite motivational youtubers is Eric Thomas and he posts a video at like 3 a.m. okay and he will get you pumped and ready for the day so just making sure that you're absorbing things and you're learning some of the books that I'm reading right now I'm gonna show you guys okay let's talk have you guys heard of Colleen Hoover if you have not check her out this is the third book that i'm reading by her um the first one i read is it, it ends with us highly recommend um and the other one oh i forgot the name i think it's called ugly love that one was really good too and i just started reading this one last night and uh it's pretty good as well and the other book that i'm reading and this is more of an educational book because i really want to learn how to control my finances and how to have a positive money mindset so it is a finance book called real life money so you guys i know as a mom you're probably thinking amethyst how am i supposed to incorporate reading into a day especially i i have a hard time finding the time and i am a first time mom and i only have one kid so i can't imagine moms who have multiples break it down don't feel like you have to read an entire book in a night i try to read once elena has gone to sleep and maybe give yourself a goal of like three pages five pages and then try to build up on that third way i'm becoming that girl and this is probably the one that is across all the videos and that is like working out my fitness and my health you guys this is my outside of my you know growing and evolving my relationship with god and getting back passionate about reading my bible and my faith walk this is the most important thing that i am focusing on this year is my wellness and my health and working out and working out is just such an escape i get in a zone when i'm working out like most of the time it's really hard for me to start i'm not gonna even hold y'all it's really hard for me to actually make myself work out i try to do it in the beginning of the day even though i'm working sometimes i have i might wake up early like an hour before i'm actually supposed to clock in so i try to get a workout in or i have like little stints throughout the day because i do work from home where i'll have like a little break and i'll try to get a workout in so if you're thinking of this how am i supposed to get a workout in I promise you you can find time even if you have 10 minutes that is enough time just to get your body moving you release those endorphins and if y'all watch legally blonde then what does l say endorphins make you happy exercise releases endorphins and endorphins make you happy it will really improve your mood if you can get your body just going for like 10 minutes a day um the person that i'm watching right now <laughs> is grow with joe y'all i cannot recommend her enough she has all types of workouts she has a youtube channel she has an app she has all types of workouts for whatever level you're at beginner intermediate advanced she has workouts where you don't have to do any type of jumping she has workouts where you're just walking she has fun workouts where you're dancing i just did a self-love workout this morning for dancing and she was playing like you know self-love music confident by demi lovato just fine by mary j blige she has an Encantu dance party um and i know if you have children it can be really hard also to find time to work out but what i do is elena thankfully is at an age where she wants to mimic everything that i do so she actually tries to work out with me so it's kind of a, a bonding thing for us and we have a lot of fun doing it so if you can try to incorporate your kids into it so that way you're still getting that workout in and you know they're not distracting you the fourth way i am becoming that girl is self-care so if y'all are not new to my channel then you know i have so many videos on self-care on my channel 
um, I will link one up here in the cards or I'll make sure that I link some of them in the description box so that you guys can go back and watch them. But it's so important, especially as a mom, to craft out time just for yourself. I mean, that is literally the idea behind my brand, The Mama Mentality, is to put yourself first and make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Self-care looks different for everyone. For me, it's making sure that I do my skincare routine so that my skin can feel nice and feel clean. It's making sure that I keep my nails done, keeping my toes done it's taking bubble baths you guys i got to take one last night because my mom got elena and it felt amazing to just soak in the tub not be bothered not have a little one coming in opening and closing the door i just got to soak i read i relaxed it was amazing um, another th really big thing that I'm trying to work on in the self-care is to not just throw anything on when I'm leaving the house and actually try to look put together and not have like we walking out the house walking to the grocery store and randomly see a stain or a hole in my shirt. <laughs> but self-care is anything that just makes you love yourself. Anything that makes you feel good about yourself and love yourself is considered self-care. The fifth and final way that I am becoming that girl and I saved this one for last because I wanted it to be the last thing on y'all's mind before y'all leave this video and that is my faith journey. You guys there's a quote you guys have probably all seen it and it's like I can't remember exactly what it says if I can find it I'll try to post it up here but it's like you know you can you can eat all the kale you can you know buy all the things like basically you can do all the things but if you don't read your bible and you ain't talking to Jesus then none of that stuff matters okay. Uh, Matthew 6 33 seek you first his kingdom and all its righteousness and all the other stuff all of these things will be given to you all of the other stuff that you're worried about if you seek him first he's gonna work it out for you and I can't lie to you there is nothing that makes me feel like that girl and like nobody can mess with me more than when I am constantly reading my bible when I'm constantly in communication with Jesus when I am listening to my worship music when I am watching a sermon I feel filled with so much peace so much comfort so much love i feel like i can literally do anything i feel filled with so much faith so much trust and so much hope about the future when i feel close to god and i actually bought a new bible um it is the she reads truth bible i don't know if y'all can see that I don't know if it's going to focus but yeah it's the she reads truth bible i got it off of amazon and i really like it because as someone who is really new to reading the bible i've only been reading the bible and not even consistently you guys i'm not gonna fret but i've only been reading the bible like really trying to incorporate reading the bible every day for like the last year and a half so i'm still fairly new to the bible and so you know reading certain versions of it can make it really confusing for me and i will say that this version of the bible is really easy for me to read and understand and comprehend so that is the last thing you guys is my faith journey and it is so important to me and i feel like all the other things do not matter if i am not focused on jesus first